once more a really enjoyable episode with the strong emphasis on Meyer. While Sakuna also got her moment to shine, it startled me to learn that Meyer is a missionary of some sort. She is quite courageous because although those Sakuna wasn't a goddess but an angel, she still wanted to share her knowledge of God with others. It's a pity that Martha wears that rag on her head all the time since she looks amazing with her hair down. Sakuna's reaction suggests that Kappas are a little stinky, but they are still very charming and lovely. Sakuna's reaction when Kenna began referring to her as a goddess was amusing. I did not anticipate the religious discourse. Being a nun from a closed-door monotheistic faith may be problematic for Myrtle if she didn't have a strong desire to explore the outside world and pick up new skills. For instance, the friendship with Kappas is a relevant example. A good episode to highlight the supporting cast. Unfortunately, people might avoid you if you are very anxious to learn as Martha found out. It's a good thing Sakuna battles demons and unravels the mysteries of this island so they can assist with the rice fields while the other humans harvest food. I wonder whether Ui and Kenta have taken more trips together in the past. Think about how it bothers me that she is so mindful of him. He does appear to be beginning to turn the corner. I'm still in love with the adaption and it appears like the gangs are going somewhere. Although it's the search is to make that Aishigumo's pals have moved on, he could have made new friends in Kenta, who is keen to further his art. He still strikes me as annoying and irascible, but next week he'll get his chance. I wish to draw attention to Marcy's voice acting. Her missionary persona is further enhanced by the actual sound and feel of her voice acting. I'm not sure whether that's deliberate, but it seems like it really makes the character come to life. However, the highlight of the day was Marthy, a compassionate missionary from a place other than Venice who loved to learn and engage with the children. The irony that she referred to Sakuna as an angel rather than a deity emphasizes her versatility. Because of her blue eyes, the Kappa first mistook her for a demon and were afraid of her. However, after assisting a wounded person, they discovered the truth and Sakuna has her chance. I wish the monster in the game was that simple. However, rice growing has gotten simpler since the Kappa and it seems dogs who may have arrived with the Kappa were introduced. Again, a really enjoyable episode. For a brief moment, I truly believe that the reason the Kappa were afraid of Mither was because in the past, other foreigners who had blue eyes had eaten Kappa because they believed them to be turtles. However, I guess a gigantic man eating catfish might also work. That might they immediately return to wearing her veil following the event makes me a little sad. Without it, she had a far more stunning appearance. As of right now, Kenta is the only gang member I still find dislikable. She simply keeps making mistakes and won't say sorry or provide assistance. However, it appears like he will be contributing in the upcoming episodes, so perhaps everything will be well soon. It's Kenta's time next week, and then I guess UI and the baby. Anticipating this with interest, everyone is in favor of Rice and wants to assist. It's good to see the group make new acquaintances this week. They may assist with the rice patties now that the enormous magic heart monster that is swimming about devouring Kappa is not around. This episode was enjoyable to me. Maida is a decent lady. She has a good heart. Maida fled from Portugal to Japan in order to disseminate the word about Catholicism. Her characters in both versions are appealing to me. The fact that she is in paradise and spending time with the real deity, yet she still believes there is only one genuine God, is amusing. Other than that, I appreciate her open-mindedness 